Here is the new LEGO Star Wars Boba Fett Starship Microfighter. Let's open it up. Inside the box there are three LEGO bags and one set of instructions. Let's build it. And here is the final build of this set. Now obviously we've got the microfighter itself and one figure, and that is Boba Fett, and let's take a closer look at him. Now the Boba Fett figure that we get in this set is your average figure. There's nothing new or cool added to it. They obviously didn't change the shade of the helmet, but um, the main real difference is that he does not have his range finder, yes. Boba Fett does not have a range finder, and that is a bit disappointing, but kind of understandable. But either way, he's got his normal Boba Fett face. He has some nice side printings, as usual, and a jetpack, and also has his custom blaster. So now let's move on to the main ship. Now, the Slave One does not look too shabby, although there is some very weird features into this set, such as the big gaping holes in the side. Like, what the hell, man? What is this? But anyway, uh, other than that, it's a pretty miniature and kind of silly looking design. But there isn't a lot of features in here. You can put Boba Fett in the cockpit. And Boba Fett does look pretty good inside his ship, although those gaping holes are always throwing me off and are kind of annoying. They look very ugly. And there's not a lot of other features other than that, like the wings can move up and down but the last real feature are the flick fire missiles there's not a whole lot to it you just flick it out and it should fire although it's pretty difficult to do but yeah that kind of works but that's pretty much just the flick fire missiles feature and you can reload them i also forgot to mention that there is one last little detail that you might like for this set this set, much like the bigger version, can hold up on its own with, like without the need of a stand. Although the other one did have a stand, it was nice that they were able to make this set stand up, which is really cool. And with that, the set was $10, and you get what you pay for, honestly. It wasn't a great set, but it is a nice little thing to have to add to your collection, if you're like me. But anyways, if you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. It would help me out so much. We just hit 1,000 subscribers, and I'm truly thankful for all of you who have subscribed. But thank you all for who subscribed and supported me along the way. And I'll see you guys in the next video.